pot. This particular brand, this pot, has its own Facebook page with nearly two million followers. We're excited to debut this weekend the Instant Pot Viva model. This is our nine in one, 15 presets. Lisa Brady is here to tell us all Hi, about David. it. Hi, friends. Uh, Good to for have having you back. Me. Yeah. You and I debuted this yesterday in Saturday Morning Q. Mm -hmm. And over 2,200 ordered just since yesterday, and already 150 in this show. Instant Pot is way more than just a pressure cooker. It sure is. It's yeah. actually a family. It's an extension of your family. And you're going to find that once you get this and you go on and you get on their Facebook page with, like David said, over almost 2 million people. And they have also have an app. They have an Instant Pot app that has over 500 recipes. But it really comes down to what does this product do for you? What does this Viva pressure cooker do for you? It's about cooking faster. It's about cooking better for you. Food that is, instead of doing the fast food, do good food fast. Yeah. There are so many different things. And this one with a nine in one that it replaces nine different appliances in your kitchen and 15 preset programs, it's the diggity dog. We're going to give you all the great recipes. We're going to give you actually the steamer insert. You've got your mm -hmm. measuring cups, your rice spoons. The internal cookwell lifts up and out for easy cleanup. Mm -hmm. So this is remarkable. You're going to love this item because it is a pressure cooker, obviously. Right. It is also going to be, uh, it's also going to do um, porridge. Warm, yogurt, pressure mm -hmm. cook, slow cook. You're going to be able to do soups and stews and sautés and rice. It's yep. everything. It does in here. everything, David. So, as we make our way down, I want to talk about value and okay. just let you know that if you went to retail right now to buy this pot, and right now QVC today is the only place you're going to find the Viva model. Yes. We've got it for you, not at $126.63, we've got it at $99.98. So, we're over $26 less. Five easy payments on your credit card of just $20, and this is the Viva model. Again, it's replacing all these different items. Tell us about this real quickly, right. Miss Lisa. Okay, so you're replacing, it's actually going to replace a cake maker, a pressure cooker, a food warmer, a slow cooker, a saute pan, a steamer, a sterilizer, a yogurt maker, and a rice maker, David. Okay. Yeah, so it does all of that. So but, let's talk about the pot because we okay. talk about 15 presets. Right. We talk about this being super easy to use. Give us a little tour. Right. Okay, so first of all, I just want to show you the lid, which I absolutely love, is genius. And again, this is a Canadian company that created this Instant Pot. But you can actually rest it either on the left side or on the right side. So depending on you know which hand you use. But I love that you don't have to have a spot for it. It has its own little spot. So right sure. now I'm gonna put it on this side. Okay. All right, and rest it. Because what I want to do is I want to show you I'm gonna make something called the healthy chicken burrito bowl. But what you can do is you can do a delay start so that you can actually wait and start it two hours later, three hours later. So, so you're saying I could I could mix this up before I leave for work in Exactly. The yep. Program it to come on before I come home and then when I go home, come home dinner's ready. Dinner is ready ready. So it. I'm going to show you how to do it. So again, you're going to just add your ingredients. I have my broth and I have some other uh, carrots in there. I'm going to add, this is literally frozen chicken. Okay. Right. Frozen chicken breast. All right. So let's add all that. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my beans and my rice. Are those dried beans? Okay. Dried beans. Dried beans. Dried, dried rice. rice. Yep. Okay. And then I'm going to add all my different uh, seasonings. Okay. So let's add all those. All right. Then what I do is I give it like a little stir here, just kind of get it all in there. So mix it up. Right, a bit. mix it up. All right, okay. Then what I'm going to do is now I'm going to put this underneath so we can get to it. I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to start it. And I can do, like I said, delay. So very simple and easy. And I have to tell you too, if you're a nervous cook or you've never pressure cooked before, I mean, again, it does do slow cook and everything else too, but. There are 10 built-in safety features, David. They've thought of everything mm. the Instant Pot has. So here we have, let's go over the dials on the front here. So again, 15 preset buttons, all right? So you have, again, soup, broth, meat, stew, bean, chili, cake, egg, slow cook, saute. Over here you have rice, multigrain, porridge, steam, sterilize, yogurt, and pressure cook. With the pressure cook button, if you look up top here, I'm actually able to switch it and do either, um, I can do low or I can do high, all right? So you can see right there, see it goes to low, press that, now I go to high, all right? I can also add time, I can take time away. It's very intuitive, very simple, very easy. Now if I also wanted, I can do de delay start. I can, let's say I'm going to start it in three hours because I'm, maybe I'm going to run out, do some shopping. I want to come back and have dinner. This will start in three hours. When I come home in three hours, dinner will be ready. It's now, so quick and easy. Now imagine fast forwarding three hours. Yeah. We have a finished one here. I got you a clean yes. pair of tongs. Thank you, David. 
And look what we've got here. Right. Now this is lovely. Talk right. to us about this. Okay, so let me put this lid on this side so I can get to it. So yeah. this is this is the burrito bowl, quick and easy. All my beans, look at everything is in here. So what you want to do is you want to come in and all you have to do literally is shred the chicken. Now you shred this up. Obviously I did. You didn't shred it on its own. No, no, it doesn't do that. That would be, hey, maybe That'd that's be pretty the fancy, next one. Yeah, yeah, wouldn't that? But, but you'll yeah. come home and you'll find those whole pieces of chicken so tender that mm -hmm. you're not going to have to work very hard to shred them. Right. And then you serve this over top a bed of lettuce and shredded yeah. cheese. I mean, this is your complete dinner, literally. 25 minutes. That's all it took, David. Is this recipe under in the, pressure. In the book? This recipe is not in the book. But one but it is one you'll find when you'll you go find on there. You'll really easy to, oh, to yeah. locate. Now, yeah. this is five easy payments on your credit card, $20 each. Top that with some fresh avocado, oh, maybe some jalapenos yeah. or salsa. Mm -hmm. You're ready to go. $2,700 ordered for the weekend. That's $450 in this show. Let's right. talk about cook times because one okay. of the things we love about a pressure cooker mm -hmm. is that it cooks faster, right. but also cooks with greater flavor because it right. forces the flavor into every bite. Talk to us about exactly. Cook okay, so if you were cooking short ribs, for example, in a traditional oven, David, it would take 90 to about 150 minutes. All right, but in the instant pot, Viva, 20 to 25 minutes. All right, what does that mean? That means it's literally cooking in one quarter the time. If you're doing a whole chicken breast, or let's do the rump roast next. If it's 30 to 35 minutes per pound in a traditional oven, it's 15 to 20 minutes per pound, all right? That means it's literally half the time. A whole chicken, three to four pounds, 23 to 30 minutes versus eight minutes per pound. What does that mean? That's one third the time. And then again, the boneless chicken breast, it's gonna be 20 to 30 minutes, literally five to eight minutes, a quarter of the time. You're knocking off the time. That's And you know what? We're all so busy and we're trying to find solutions like, okay, what's the shortcut? Is that fast food place the shortcut? I don't think so. It's an option, but it's not a great option. Don't do that anymore. You can do your dinners, your side dishes. How about dessert? Look at this yummy dessert. Now, yeah. this dessert we had yesterday in Saturday morning queue, and I'm still dreaming about this dessert. <laughs> it was so amazing. And how many of these are gone now, Sean? 600 gone in this show. This is your chocolate yeah. peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Swirl cheesecake. So decadent, oh. David. 50 minutes in here. But I have to tell you another one, too. I did the chocolate lava cake, and that, David, only took me eight minutes, and you put it in little ramekin. Mm. Is that... Decadent, so right? Good. In a pressure cooker. And you know what's great about this recipe mm. is that the chocolate and the peanut butter is balanced. Yes. You don't taste all chocolate, you don't taste all peanut butter, mm -hmm. you taste layers yes. of each one. And it's really remarkable. This is lovely. Thank you, David. I appreciate that. But that's the thing is it's not just for those meats and stuff. And what I love about the meats is though is you can use those less expensive, tougher cuts and you don't have to worry the pressure cooker. Now look down in here before it. we start spooning this out yes. because this is God's most perfect food. This is mac and cheese. <laughs> now you made this mac and cheese yes. by uh, and you started with dry noodles, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, okay, so it's dry noodles and chicken broth, okay? And so what happens is when you cook macaroni on the stovetop, you have to constantly stir it, otherwise it sticks, right? Right. Okay. And then you, you have, have to have drain to, the water. You drain the water. But here, you're putting your, your chicken stock in with your noodles. You turn it on, literally, David, six minutes, Take it off and you're so done. It, it cooks the pasta and you and absorbs, absorbs the liquid. Absorbs the chicken stock. Yeah, and you can use vegetable stock. And then stock. once that's done, you stir in your cheeses yep. and your and, and your, dairy, your milk right? and stuff. And then you've got the the. Oh, this has got to be God's most perfect mac now, and cheese. I swear. I will tell you, my new cookbook has a mac and cheese recipe that cooks in six minutes in a pressure cooker. You can do my recipe in the instant oh, pot too. Oh, that's fantastic! So, which is and, great. and here's the thing, David. What I love about the instant pot pressure cooker, you can add some bacon if you want. I mean, whatever you yes. want. Yes. Is that I awesome? I had some really fun things to mind, but I'm not mm. going to tell you yet. You'll tune in next Sunday. Oh, all very that. nice. But what I will do in the meantime is a little happy dance. Yay! With Hey, awesome. let's come down here and just remind okay. everybody what they're going to get while okay. I eat. All right, so let's do that here. So here you're obviously getting your pressure cooker unit. Inside, you're going to find your stainless steel pot. All right, dishwasher safe. The lid is dishwasher safe. Mm. Ten built-in safety features. Down here, if you want to take a look, what we've got here, oops, this, okay, here we go. Now we've got your steam rack, okay, dishwasher safe. Your rice paddle, your soup spoon. You've got your measuring cup and you're also getting a condensation collector. All dishwasher safe. We're also giving you a manual and a recipe book with 41 recipes. I promise you, you will never struggle for something to cook in now, your instant over 3, pot. 3,000 are gone. Take a look at our value again because at retail, if you were to go to retail to buy this same pack up, mm -hmm. you would pay $126.63. We're over $26 less. Oh, wow. We're also going to do five easy payments on your credit card of only $20 each. This is the Viva model. We're debuting this this weekend. 
3,100 order for the weekend. In this show, 900 are now gone. Everybody's loving the instant pot, and you're loving that you've got nine vessels or nine uh, appliances in one. Yes. With this fantastic machine. Exactly. Now, here's a little okay. breakfast. Treat. Yeah, so again, breakfast, lunch, dinner, preset this. Some people do this the night before you wake up. You've got perfect oatmeal. This is this is actually a double batch that I made in here, so you can see yep. it's a little bit thicker, but depending on how much you want. Seven minutes on high, David, versus, how, and these are still cut oats. How or long does it take, take you? What, 15, 20 minutes? Uh, some 30. I was looking at some recipes yesterday, and some were up to 30 minutes. So 20 to 30 minutes. Mm. But they're so mm. perfect. Again, use that delay With start apples. if you want. Yeah, there's also a keep warm button. So mm. if someone's taking a no. little long to come down for breakfast, just put it on keep warm, and you're good to go. Now, let's remind everybody that the buttons on the front of the machine are really very easy. This is what mm -hmm. I like to call one button cooking. Right. Because you've got soup and broth, meat and stew, uh, beans and chili, cake, rice, sanitize, steam, saute, slow cook, pressure cook, porridge, multigrain, oh. eggs, <laughs> yogurt, pressure cook. Yeah. I read all that from about. I know. I was trying to see. It's hard to see that I far. I have to tell you. I'm going to the eye doctor this week. He's I'll been very impressed with that. I'll have a cheat sheet for you. All right. Thank time. you. But you know what? This is what I love because mm -hmm. you don't have to be worried too much about this machine because you simply put the ingredients inside and press one button. Right. Exactly, David. And then you can press it and you can walk away. Which is great. Yep. All right. So here I have. Look at this in here. All right. I don't know if you can see this. This is beef roast with potatoes and carrots, David. And look, like I said, you can use lesser cuts of meats because this is going to pressurize and break down the fibers of that meat so you are getting so much more quickly. perfect so as we stew. taste this i want mm -hmm. you to talk to us about cook times again okay let's cook do times that are amazing right in this. well okay and so if you're doing short ribs okay 90 to 150 minutes you're actually cooking the short ribs in one quarter of the time the beef roast david if you're cooking it in the instant pot it's half the time it's 15 to 20 minutes per pound versus 30 to 35. a whole chicken one third the time eight minutes per pound versus 23 to 30 and then the chicken breast one quarter the time i mean when you're cooking under pressure and that's what you're doing here you're cooking faster and you're also infusing the flavors into your foods mm. whatever it is that you're cooking this beef stew is amazing yes because mm, when you buy stew beef, stew beef is not an expensive cut. Right. But it is tough like shoe leather unless mm -hmm. you cook it to death. Yep. And if you do it on top of the stove or in a, in a, in a Dutch oven in the oven, it's got to cook for hours. Right. This cooked in how many minutes? This beef stew here was um, 55 minutes. Oh, my yeah. word. That's and crazy. And this is on page 24 of the recipe book, too, if you want to try this. But it's just so yummy mm. and, oh, my oh, gosh. That's comfortable, I, baby. This, uh, this is lunch. For so me. nice. I'm so having nice. this for lunch. <laughs> All right. So one right. of the other things we love in the pressure cooker, mm -hmm. in the instant pot, right. is risotto. Now, risotto, yes. if you're making it from scratch, requires a lot of attention. It does. It requires a lot of time and a a lot of stirring yeah because in and through that process you're adding in broth you're doing all kinds of things to make sure that it doesn't stick it doesn't right. get too gummy the starches don't release too quickly so you end up with a, a big gummy mess right this is something that cooks in the instant pot how quickly okay so this is going to cook david in 12 minutes i'm not even joking and then we're going to hit this yeah. with some fresh parmesan we can do that yeah on top thank you and and we can add butter and parmesan cheese after we can also add it in there and let it yep. melt too but do that. this yep. is a chicken risotto yes with fresh parmesan cheese mm -hmm. and this cooked how quickly okay this was 12 minutes for, uh, no stirring and stirring and watching and you know making sure it doesn't boil or burn or do whatever mm. you literally put oh, it in so good. and walk away and you're good again comfort food yeah all about so it so awesome mm. and there's i have to tell you there's so many foods here that i've never cooked before really but it's so much fun and you know what it's almost like i'm calling my mom like you know how you call your mom and say mom what was that you know recipe you used to do when i was growing up sure that's what happens when you're cooking with the instant pot because you reach out to the 1.5 million members on facebook Facebook page. Yeah. That, they're like an extension of your family. And also, I love the app because it gives you recipes, it gives you ingredients, it gives you directions, but it also has a place where you can add notes like, oh, I cooked it for five minutes longer because I wanted it to be a little more tender, or I cooked it less because I wanted it firmer. I mean, it's fantastic. Let's make our way down. Yeah. 3,600 are now gone for the weekend. That means in this show, 1,400 have been spoken wow. for. Is this rice Thank pudding? You. This is rice pudding, David. But look at that. I mean, that is just beautiful. It's lovely. This actually takes, it's pina colada rice pudding, David, and it took 13 minutes. It's on page 39 of our recipe mm. book. But again, you know, you've got those 15 preset programs oh, so that nice. allow you to do so much. Lovely. All right, here we go. 
And what this, do you have here? Is this okay. all these mussels? This is my low country boil. Oh, all okay. right. And so when I did this, I make some changes. I didn't add mussels or, or clams. I just did the, um, I did corn, I did potatoes, and then I added shrimp at the last 